Hi guys, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. This is going to be a uh, general reading, but it's going to be a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most and for those of you that need it the most. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. It kind of came out this way, so perhaps we should read it both upright and in reverse, right? At the bottom of the deck is the Hermit's Energy. To the person that I am speaking to, you are a very intuitive being. You're someone who is able to intuit how other people are feeling. You can pick up on other people's energy. You can pick up on their vibrations, um, the frequency that they're emitting. And so... It can be really hard for you to figure out what what's your energy, where your energy is at, what you're feeling, what are your emotions and what emotions belong to someone else or belong to people around you or people you've come in contact with. You are someone who feeds off other people's energy, someone who absorbs the energy of other people around you. Um, the thing with that is... Because you can pick up other people's emotions and their moods from time to time, it affects you. It affects your energy, it affects your mood, it affects your emotions. It can drain your energy, okay? And this is why with the hermit, um, the hermit's energy, I feel like... It's important that you pull away sometimes. It's important that you spend time on your own or you spend some time away from other people because there are some people that have a very strong presence or a very strong influence on you. And sometimes without knowingly or without, in, like, not, without in, uh, intentionally, this these people can drain your energy and they can affect your energy with their um, their body, with their tone of voice, with the language that they use, their communication styles, even the relationship dynamic that you might have with this person. So if you are someone who is highly sensitive, especially to like emotional stimuli or even physical, it might be a good idea to sometimes just... Um, not to overwhelm yourself and it might just be a good idea to spend some time on your own so that you can recharge your um, recharge your battery you can recharge your energy um, also try and arrange your physical space in a way that doesn't feel overwhelming to you because especially if you can pick up and respond to energy very quickly establish your boundaries as well When you spend more time on your own, you're all, you'll also be able to tell what emotions belong to you and what emotions belong to other people. So you might be someone who is spending some time on your own right now. You might be someone who maybe other people see you as 
you isolating yourself or alienating yourself but you know what you have to do so focus on you focus on you know putting space between you and whosoever energy you're picking up whether it's a person or whether it's a place or whether it's a thing also because you are a very intuitive being and because you are a natural empath the person that i'm connecting to there is something here that i feel like you've been picking up on for quite some time you've been picking up on someone's energy who is very connected to you um, even if this person isn't necessarily in your life or even if you're not necessarily communicating with this person right but you're picking up on the fact that there is someone who is like watching you or someone who is watching your um, they may be watching your Instagram stories. They may be watching very close to what you post. Um, this person might be talking about you. They may be talking about you, mentioning your name. They, they might be bringing up your name a lot. But you are picking up on this person's energy. And it's almost like you can feel their presence, even if they're not necessarily in your life right now. Or if you guys are in no contact, no communication. This is someone whom you still have chemistry with. So it does feel like this is a romantic energy could be an ex, could be a, uh, a fling that you far flung, could be someone that maybe ghosted you or has fallen off the radar or like even though there's still chemistry, the connection for whatever reason fizzled out. Um, but you know that there is still a spark, there is still an attraction between you and this individual. And so the person that I'm connecting to, you can pick up that this person wants to Come back into your life you can pick up that there is someone here who there is someone he you're absorbing this person's energy okay and your what you're intuiting about this person what you intuitively feel about them and their situation is correct um, there is someone's energy whom you're picking up very strongly and you can pick up that this is someone who wants to come back to you someone who wants to reach out someone who wants to communicate someone who might be you might be connected to this person online or this is someone who might um, be watching your stories very closely and you might have them on social media but they're not communicating they're not necessarily saying something they are communicating to you but it's through energy and if you find yourself thinking about this person a lot or if you find like their name keeps popping up a lot or just if you find that you're getting any like sign synchronicities around this specific individual around this specific situation that you've had with this person it's because you're picking up on their energy it's because you like they're communicating with you I feel like this is someone who has exhausted you, someone who I feel like because you've absorbed this person's energy and it's it's been really hard for you to figure out this person's emotions because from what I can see this is someone who they could be a presence that comes and goes in your life or they could be yeah a fluctuating presence they could be someone that is very hard to pin down so a very non-committal type of energy i get a lot of adrenaline with this person uh someone whom you have a lot of attraction with and i think that this is one of the reasons um that this person wants to come back or wants to reconnect is because they feel really attracted to you this person feels very um they feel very connected to you very drawn to you even for reasons that, that they cannot explain um, just remember that people are responsible for their energy and how they show up and the way that this person is showing up at least in this particular reading is someone whom you do have a very strong attraction towards a very strong chemistry um, a lot of physical energy especially with the ones it's a very phallic kind of energy so a lot of attraction a lot of chemistry um, it's almost like a bit of an addictive kind of energy like I feel like you're really drawn to this person and this person is really drawn to you um, I also feel like this is someone who maybe you've connected with online or someone who lives overseas or you live overseas or you've traveled with this person or you've met this person on your travels or you've met them on a dating app or I feel like this person 
um, is has been watching your stories a lot has been watching your stories and whatever it is that you've been posting on social media a lot they're very interested they're very interested and they're very curious by you part of that curiosity is to see whether you they've been replaced whether you've replaced this person with someone else in your life so that's why i feel like this is someone whom you've had history with this is like an ex or someone you've had um, a connection with i also feel like this person can be a bit of a player or is known to be a bit of a player in their um in the past purely because this person is very attractive and they know it they're very good looking and they know it so they've never really had to chase people always they always received attention they always received attention from um from a lot of people everywhere they went so they never felt like they had to chase anyone people just gravitated towards them um i do feel like there's something about this person's energy where especially with the high priestess energy i feel like there's something firstly there is a bit of a psychic connection but i feel like maybe this is a psychic connection you share with this person but it could also be the person that i'm talking to you might have psychic abilities you might be an empath and you know we spoke about you potentially like you potentially picking up and absorbing other people's energy and emotions which is a gift um which is a gift and a talent but i just feel like this there's something about this person where it's hard to figure them out so i don't know if this is because you can't get a good read of this person or if they put, keep their cards very close to their chest or maybe this is the person i'm speaking to like maybe this person the reason why they keep coming back is because there's an air of mystery about you they can't figure they can't get a read on you they can't figure you out maybe you're you like this person you're attracted to this person but you're not chasing them and maybe that's what keeps the mystery alive or maybe this person's really curious as to you know why you don't give them your attention or why you're not bothered by the, the fact that they're not communicating i don't know there's something about this person that feels as though they're very intrigued they're very curious or there's some sort of mystery between you and this person uh, maybe you come across as enigmatic maybe they're the one that's very enigmatic maybe the both of you are very curious uh, and very intrigued by each other and what this could be but there is the thing is i feel like there are there's a level of depth of emotion that is very strong in the energies but i feel like it's almost like uh this person is safeguarding their emotions it's almost like this person doesn't want to like they don't want to open up the flood like the the gates to all of their emotions i feel like they're safeguarding their heart they're safeguarding their emotions i feel like this person knows that they can fall in love with you or they know that they have some very deep strong feelings for you some very intense feelings for you maybe this person is in love with you or maybe this person is falling in love with you they know that but something about the energy tells me they're a bit of an avoidant someone who is dismissive or avoidant so they watch everything you post but they don't engage right um so there's also this possible hope that they have that you might reach out first because they can see that you're watching they're not doing it in secret they, they, they can see that like you you know that they've viewed your stories um but maybe there's this energy of them wanting you to reach out first and make the move this also could be someone that maybe you unfollowed or maybe you i don't know you no longer speak to this person but yet they keep I feel like they want to still have some connection with you it doesn't it comes across it can probably sound a little bit stalkerish or a little bit creepy but it's not that i just feel like this person is it's to me it feels like they're playing like a social media game they they're watching you but at the same time they're ignoring you they're not reaching out 
It could be a manipulation tactic that this person is playing. The thing is, this person can get in touch. What I'm picking up on, this person can get in touch with you if they wanted to. They have your number or they have you on social media or they may even have friends in common like they know where you are they know where you live like this person knows about you you've had history with them so they can get in touch there's a means of them connecting with you but they don't they hold back i feel like someone in the energy is legitimately still open to a reconnection um, is genuinely open to reconciling or open to having a talk and just see where things go. I don't think anything you're posting is directed at this person. I don't. I mean, it could be, but I don't think so. Um, but it just seems a strange thing to do like their behavior is a little bit puzzling and I feel like this is someone who I do feel like they're contradicting themselves in a way because I feel like they you know they're still interested but yet they don't do anything about it they want to come back but yet at the same time they're holding back if this is an ex I just don't think this person has fully moved on from you um, especially if this person ghosted you because what happens when someone ghosts you they don't slam the door shut on that situation on that relationship they leave it open even if slightly they leave it ajar uh, just because if any time in the future they want to revisit this connection they want to revisit this situation they can do that so you know they don't pull the plug completely on the relationship they leave things where they are and just disappear Because if ever in the future they want to reconsider reconnecting, they have that option. I feel like it's difficult for this person to ignore the feeling they get whenever they see what you're posting or whenever they hear about you or whenever they watch your photos or anything. There's an energy of them being still really into you or even obsessed with you. Um, I don't think this is meaningless and again to the person that I'm connecting to I think you you feel like that there's still something there you feel like there's a spark or there's an attraction or there's a there's a chemistry that still exists but was never really fully explored um, I think there's something that holds mysterious power I feel like there's something here that's holding some mysterious power and maybe it's the uh, the connection that you have maybe you can't quite explain that um, look this person might they may be in love they may be falling in love they might not even be in love with you but they're certainly not skipping your posts they're certainly not ignoring what it is that you're posting right um I feel like this person is they kind of want to I think this is someone who doesn't have access into uh, who, who doesn't have access to you right now well who does but who isn't reaching out right they kind of want especially on social media guys if you are active on social media I feel like this person wants to peek into your life through a small window and social media gives them that I also feel like this person waits till like the end of the day to watch your post because I think they try they try their best not to watch it but eventually they cave because there's something there there's a, there's some sort of mysterious power mysterious energy guys it's like a, an attraction and a possession it's like a curiosity it's some sort of magnetic pull 
the thing is they don't mind that you see that they see they don't mind that you know that they're watching your posts right advice um if someone if you think someone likes you and is ignoring you and if you like them too it might be a good idea to just reach out or approach them and see where it goes All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support to the channel by liking, subscribing. It helps the channel to grow. What happened? Um, keep shining your light. Bye for now.